What's good, YouTube family? This your God bless one. Thank you for watching another episode of. I smoke hip hop. Y'all see the title? Y'all know what's going on. Y'all know Battle Truth. Anytime he does the music, I like listening to his music. I don't know how he's different. Y'all remember the great hit the man did? He got a brand new banger. Um, let me give it to y'all right now. He has a brand new banger. Ask um, ask them streets. My bad. I asked them streets about me. I already heard this song already, but I'm give you guys my opinions, reaction about it. But we're gonna go over his song a little bit right now, and this reaction is gonna be different. We're not gonna in between always giving an opinion. I'm gonna let it flow, let the music go, then we're gonna give our opinion about it. But in the um, first part, I don't know if you guys remember uh, Battle Chew's original banger. I don't know if his new song could, could top um, Styrofoam and Ashtrays. I'm going to be honest, for a YouTuber, and even for a nigga out there in the street, Styrofoam and Ashtray was fire, my nigga. Like, the production, the um, the way you put certain um, lyrics together to match with what you was talking about, and his harmonizing. Like, a lot of people don't like the harmonizing, but you remember, we live in a harmonizing era, and I respect the harmonizing. You don't have the voice of a R. Kelly, but you have a voice of pain. And anytime you can sell pain to me, I'll listen. But let's get into a Battle Troop new song, Ask Them Streets About Me. I know I said I was gonna give a, I was not gonna give a reaction in between, but so far, this shit sound kind of lit. I'm going to skip some of it a little bit because I feel like why should you be on my platform and hear the whole song when you can go to the description box and go on Battle Truth's YouTube page yourself and go listen to the full song. I think that's only fair. Let's go. I'm about to give you guys a reaction, but you know what? I have a good one to tell you after the song, but I see some misses, but I also see a lot of plus in this song. I know a lot of you niggas is watching me and be like, bless one, how the fuck you know the lyrics already? Like I told you, I heard this song already. I support everybody. I ain't no hater, Ed. When you listen to a song continuously, you're going to pick it up instantly. I don't know how your brain works, but my brain absorbs everything. That song is, well, wait for the reaction. Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm eager and shit to give y'all the reaction and shit. Let me continue it. Because like I said, I'm skipping it. You guys go to Battle Troops page. They hear the whole song. Remember, the song is Ask Them Streets About Me. I know y'all hear them 808s. That's all I'm going to say. Yeah. 
Hey, y'all go like and share and subscribe to that boy Battle Truth, man. Go show some love. All right, now I'm going to give my reaction to it. Battle Truth, like I said, Star Phone and Ass Straight, hands down, right now, is one of the hottest songs in the sectors. In fact, like, I wouldn't mind to ask you permission or even pay you. I, you, you do what you want to do so I can use that. Um, cause I mean, you let me use it already without even, cause you didn't take a copyright or nothing. So salute to you on that. But I don't want to be doing that shit for free. That shit deserves to get monetary. So if you want me to pay for it or what, let me know. Cause I like that star phone and that shit. This song, you guys see me repeating the words. You see me bouncing, which means I like this song too, but I'm going to be fair. Star phone and ashtray. I basically had almost no criticism and this, I got a little bit. Hey, bad at you. Hey, I'm cool with you, bro. But you got a damn thumbnail picture of some nigga and his body up in the damn screen and shit, bro. It's to the point I got uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah, this shit went out again. It's to the point I got uncomfortable, bro. Like, my wife got to walk out the room, bro. And she be gonna look, like, she gave me a look like, what the fuck you watching? Like, but she know it's music, so she ain't really say much of it. But that's what I'm talking about, bro. We could have done without that random guy's picture up there. I understand what it's about, but that picture kind of takes away from your talent. Cause a lot of the dislikes you're not gonna see from people who's hating the song, it's gonna be from people alone who was uncomfortable with that picture. I felt like, I understand you're trying to get the women's side to it and all that, but use your body, and no offense, even if you would've used your body, you would've felt the same way. We're not trying to see all that. No matter if it was your body, or this generic body you're using. That was kind of uncomfortable, bro. But I no no oh ridiculing need to be done at Battle Truth. It's just for the he's just basically concentrating on the music more. Maybe his mind wasn't on that. Let's get away from that. The other thing is with I, nice it awaits was in this, but I thought it could have used more of that kind of dark type of vibe. Like the lyrics that you had in there, fire. I, I appreciate the lyrics because once again about Battle Truth, he's from the streets like a lot of us and some of the things he talk about is pain music and like I tell you, I can't listen to some Disney World type music every fucking day. I like pain music. Believe it or not, pain music make me feel good. It's like those people are venting for me, therefore I can relax even more. I know some people be like when they're going through problems, you rather hear that jolly and oh, I love everybody. Like, you, you can have that. I, I ain't hating. But me, I got to hear something that I could connect with. And that's why I like the lyrics in this song. And a lot of people I see there hating the harmonizing. Like I said earlier, we're living in the era of people harmonizing now. If you don't say the same thing about Future or Little Dirt, how can you say the same thing about Battle Truth? Oh, he's singing. I can respect somebody doing that than somebody giving me some bullshit because their voice sounds so good, but the lyrics are just totally garbage. So I'd rather take the better lyrics with somewhat of a decent flow. You get what I'm saying? Um, the another negative was not really too much of a negative. It's just more of you had harmonizing that I don't hate at all, but you kind of steered away from your talent, which is your lyrical skills. And you being in bat battle rap shows that you're a man who has an ear for lyrics. I felt like you stayed more towards the harmonizing side. Like in, in Star Foam and Astro, you harmonize a lot, but when you got, I know and wanna hear my voice. And then the ad libs you can hear in the background. People say those too much ad libs, but they made that song fire. I wanted to hear more of kind of like that in the song. And I know they're two different songs, two different subjects, but I kind of like that style of Star Phone and Astro. I feel like that's your niche. Stick to that type of rock. Then you kind of had that Migos slash. I'll say a little bit of Young Thugs and Future. It was all three of the Migos, Young Thug, and Future mixing one where you had, you know that Migos flowing pattern a little bit? You had a little bit of that ingredients in Star from an Ashtray, and I feel like it lacked that in this song. But with all those critiques that I had of um, Acts about, um, Acts in the Streets about me, it still was more of pluses I had than negative. We'll say like almost 89% I liked it, and then that other 11% was just those things. Like 7% alone was the picture, my G. I'm not trying to like listen to a fire song with some damn nigga chess all over that shit. It was, like, it was weird, bro, I'ma just keep it real. And then like I said, you harmonized a little bit too much instead of going with that star from the hash, but I understand why you did that. You're trying to be different in every song. And you're an artist. I can respect when an artist reveals 
you know, different creations. And that's what saved the song, just the fact that it was different. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I'm not trying to hear the same thing every day. If you want to hear the same shit that plays every day, then listen to the damn radio. It's the same shit, same style. No matter if the name is Little Pump or Little Vert or Uzi or whatever y'all call these niggas these days. It's the same shit. So... I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna give this out of five stars. I'm gonna give this four stars. I took one star away, just mostly because of the pictures. Other than that, keep doing your thing, Battle Truth. Like, share, and subscribe. Go give love to Battle Truth's page. That's a fire song right there. I'm your God Bless One. Love your family, love your kids, and stay blessed. And remember, life is nothing if you don't make life something. The reason why we got a lot of haters in this world, sometimes people just need a hug.